If you consider yourself a cozy gamer, you've probably at the very least heard of this new silly little game called Web Fishing. Web Fishing, as described by the developer, is a multiplayer chatroom focused fishing game. In Web Fishing, players will join or host small online servers where they can perform various social activities such as fishing, metal detecting, and playing guitar. The grind loop in Web Fishing is what I can only describe as insanely addicting. Players control an animal avatar in a 3D world to catch different types of fish. Catching fish earns the player cash, either by completing quests or selling the fish, which can be used to upgrade fishing gear or buy items used to customize your avatar. What I love about web fishing is that it's kind of a game that forces you to really slow down. There's no constant source of gratification or a sense of urgency hitting your dopamine receptors every five seconds like so many other games nowadays. You literally have no choice but to cast your rod and wait. And during that wait time, you can spark up conversations with your fellow felines or canines. Everything about web fishing seems like such wholesome and peaceful fun, and it usually is. But as you probably know from growing up with the internet, we simply cannot have nice things. There's always gotta be someone who fucks it up for the rest of us. And for what reason? Well, usually attention. But needless to say, web fishing has definitely run into this problem. If you've played web fishing before and are part of any communities within the game like the subreddit or discord servers, you've most likely heard of some of the infamous hackers that are causing a bit of chaos on innocent players. You've heard of the hash slinging slasher? Well, I present to you, Havoc Reeking Hackers. These hackers are causing players to feel unsafe when playing a game that's supposed to be cozy. But how dangerous are these hackers really? Well, let's talk about it. Perhaps the most infamous hacker in web phishing thus far goes by the name of Grincher. Grincher is an ominous hacker that can often be found silently joining and leaving lobbies. Whether your lobby is public or not, there are countless anecdotes of players saying they made a private lobby to fish on their lonesome, only to see Grincher join in somehow, and he's unable to be kicked or banned from any of the servers. So they immediately close out of the game out of fear of what Grincher might do. Lots of players seem to have horror stories of this mysterious hacker breaking their game or banning them from every playing web phishing again, with some users in the web phishing subreddit saying, he bricks and manipulates people's save files, most notably removing their phishing rod, thus bricking the save. If he joins the lobby, just leave. They are very, very likely injecting code to F with your game every time they rejoin. Then given enough time, they can crash or delete stuff from your game using their modified client. If you leave straight away, best way is to exit the game totally, it stops them. It's annoying as heck, yes, but unfortunately is the only way to stop them at the moment. Saw him harassing a streamer a few days ago. Well, I say harassing, but all he got away with was stealing host and kicking everyone a couple times. He was just annoying to them at most, but yeah, this is just sad. He spent this time hacking a peaceful fishing game just to annoy people. The things some people will do for attention, I suppose. Now, I actually have some firsthand experience with this Grincher character. I didn't record any of it, but here's my story. I launched web fishing a few weeks ago to relax and chat with some peeps, and I immediately noticed something off when I opened the game. There were hundreds of lobbies called something along the lines of Grincher's Evil Room, and the usual 12-person max lobbies were up to 1,000. At this point in time, I had never heard of Grincher, but this definitely seemed a bit sus. So I just kept scrolling lobbies until I found a normal looking one. I joined the game and fished as usual. And after a little while, Grincher joined our lobby and then left after a bit and then joined, and then left. And this just kept repeating for the hour or so that I was playing. They never said anything, and to my knowledge, no one got kicked or corrupted. The other people on the server and I were just chilling on a private island, so I never saw the Grincher's actual character. We all just kind of ignored them, so they probably wanted to go to lobbies that gave them a little more attention. And later that night, I looked up Grincher on the web phishing subreddit and realized that this has been an ongoing issue for a little while. And afterwards, I got nervous that my save might be corrupted the next time I opened the game, but Alas, everything was fine. But there were so many posts about Grincher on the web phishing subreddit that one of the mods had to make a post saying, Announcement. Posts about Grincher or other cheaters are not allowed. I didn't want to have to make an announcement regarding this, but please don't post about Grincher or any other cheater. And they made a clarifying statement to put some worried players at ease, saying, Grincher is usually just scraping IPs, hence why they join and leave lobbies constantly. IP addresses are practically useless to leak as they don't give an accurate location and can be changed easily. Cheaters can sometimes send cheated letters with large amounts of items, and you can fix this via the web phishing save editor. Lame developer, the web phishing dev, 
released a patch recently in an effort to combat hackers like the Grincher. Although this hasn't stopped the Grincher from appearing in lobbies, it seems that Grincher is not able to do anything malicious. And I found another tidbit of information about Grincher in the comment section of this YouTube video titled Grincher Lore Web Phishing. It said, okay, so I've been researching this guy and he is somewhat of a fraud, but also not kinda. I left my game open one night and he just joined and left and joined and left. In that 12 hour span, he never sent a letter and I also never had my lobby closed or my save data deleted. Today, I took the files from my game and manually backed them up and then sent the Grincher a letter with a button and nothing happened. He also did not respond. From what I've noticed, he just made like a script or some kind of bot that joins servers and sits there and leaves after an amount of time. This is also after the update, so maybe he was doing stuff before then, but as of now, he seems to be just a goofy guy joining servers with a bot. So yeah, at one point, Grincher may have been something to worry about, but now it seems like it's just a scare tactic to cause panic. Not long after the Grincher phenomenon, another hacker appeared from the shadows known as F-Man. F-Man 122 to be exact. Now, if you've ever played the game Animal Jam before, you may be thinking, hmm, that name sounds kind of familiar. Well, that's because F-Man 122 is a former Animal Jam hacker slash urban legend. And similarly to Grincher, there have been lots of rumors and fake stories about F-Man. F-Man 122 appeared on Animal Jam around 2012 or 2013, when there were lots of hacking incidents. Jammers believe that when F-Man 122 hacked you, first they would send you a jamogram saying, thanks for playing with me, and then hack you. F-Man 122's animal was a wolf named Awesome Sunny Brave, with black as the first color and white as the second, a dark red fire pattern, and evil or angry eyes with the same color as the fire pattern. So far, F-Man on web phishing seems to be ominous, but harmless, with users in the web phishing subreddit saying, I believe this person is a hacker, similarly to Grincher. It seems they are using the same methods, as well as the name being a reference to a phrase many have said on Twitter that goes along the lines of, Grincher is like the F-Man of web phishing. F-Man 122 joined my public lobby the other night, didn't say anything, didn't load in, just kept joining and leaving. I looked on the account's Steam page and it says he's friends with Grincher, assuming it isn't a throwaway from Grincher himself. Wouldn't let me kick F-Man out of the lobby either. Sketchy AF. I've seen that guy. Not on private lobby gladly. He didn't do anything, I guess. It was an RU server and I asked, F-Man, do you speak? And then he left. I'm mostly sure it's just an Easter egg because he really doesn't do anything besides join servers, take up the list, and not allow codes. So yeah, while there do seem to be some rumored horror stories about the Grincher and F-Man, in most cases it seems that there's nothing to really worry about and that these hackers are simply just fishing for attention. But there's one more web phishing cryptid to cover. Someone so evil, so conniving. If they join your lobby, even for a moment, you will forever be cursed. There is no escape, no escape from Lobotomite. Okay, you probably can tell that I'm trolling a little bit on the evilness of Lobotomite, but I wanted to end this video talking about a more silly cryptid rather than the annoying hackers who want to ruin the fun for everyone. Users on web phishing are dressing up as red and white cats with a teal t-shirt, tan overalls, and the signs of a true Lobotomite are a button nose and a small tail. Lobotomite originates from a random web phishing user who, quote, started some servers in web phishing and people started to copy my avatar for its simplicity. I then got a couple of them to make funny gifts with clones of me. We started posting them to this sub, and now every time I go into a server, I get cloned. Lobotomite is a term that in real life has been used to describe someone who is brainless and or stupid, as if they've been lobotomized. And the OG Lobotomite confirmed that the misspelling of Lobotomite was actually intentional. These lobos are usually people who have mods installed and are able to do silly things like float, grow massive in size, run really fast, fly around, and other various goofy shenanigans. They usually gather together to make funny gifts and are generally just trying to entertain other people on the server and try to make them laugh. They don't hack into servers like the other cryptids. They host their own lobbies and recruit people to help make funny gifts. No hacks involved, just mods. So if you see a lobotomite lobby, there is no need to fear. They are indeed just silly little guys. Just take it from this guy. The lobotomites are harmless. Good lot of lads. This message has been approved by John Webfishing. I don't know who John Webfishing is, but they sound very official to me. <laughs> In social MMO games like this, 
cryptids are kind of inevitable. People just love messing with people, especially when hidden behind a screen. Whether it's ominously staring at players from atop of the lighthouse to creep people out, coming up with silly characters to make others laugh, or trying to become an infamous hacker urban legend. Some people just love attention. And with the barrier of a computer screen, oftentimes some people will just take it too far. So yeah, I wanted to make this video for those of you who are scared to play web phishing and just kind of explain what's been going on. Web phishing was made by a solo developer and they are aware of these issues and they're doing the best they can to keep these annoying hackers at bay. Web phishing is a relatively new game and I'm sure these hackers will probably be a thing of the past one day, but hopefully Lobotomite will live on forever. Live, laugh, Lobotomite. And if you have yet to play web phishing, I definitely recommend checking it out. I also have a video on my channel of my partner and I playing web phishing for the first time. So feel free to check that out if you wanna see what the game's all about. It's only $5 on Steam and it's a great game to kick back and relax to, not sponsored. Just make sure you keep your eyes peeled. Lobotomite is always watching. Mm -hmm.